I basically, um, you know, wrote about this as well. Let's see if I can get this video to play. You can see it's very, very foggy. Yes, I think you get the point there. The videos have led to concerns that the smog is a result of smoke from the crematoriums burning coronavirus infected bodies 24 hours a day. It comes a day after the National Health Commission in China ordered all coronavirus fatalities to be cremated with burials and funerals banned to prevent spread of disease. Chinese nationals voice their concerns on social media suggesting the death toll could be unthinkably higher than reports if incinerators are running all day. There's a thick fog. Yeah, it's uh, it's very sad. Please pray for China. Please pray that more missionaries will get out there and more people will be saved. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the uh, the scene here in iPad Go Two. Not so much this one, uh, but the next scene. So here you have the uh, yin yang symbol referencing that it's China. You have the tanks uh, going through to, uh, you know, it basically is probably alluding to the Tiananmen Square uh, incident, uh, but also it's also alluding to the uh, new Hong Kong protests. Uh, that are breaking out, uh, but that were, uh, those protests I think ended after the coronavirus hit. But anyhow, it shows a woman waving a white flag, and it shows the, uh, the, 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 what is it, the uh, yin yang symbol breaks up. It normally means uh, peace, I believe, and duality, uh, but uh, the yin yang breaks up. And uh, let's see what happens. The Chinese woman with the tiger is confronted by death. She has a no uh, radiation sign. And there, I think this is a, there's a lot of sim symbolism in this scene. For one, I think it's referring to the Chinese New Year, which happened uh, sometime in January. I forget which day exactly. But basically, the coronavirus really began picking up around the New Year's, Chinese New Year's. This is just the reason why I posted it, because it's purple. I'm always looking at purple, but um, yeah, this is the same as what I saw of Mariah Carey standing facing her selfie camera with her two twins facing the New Year fireworks display, and it's not Chinese New Year is. It is also our new year. 2020, things are ramped up, of course, we can see that. So they're definitely broadcasting that, but deaf. So, yeah, the female rival is deaf. So that might as well be Mariah Carey. So I saw that, and then I saw the bear. I saw the bear moving. I saw its paws walking around the mountain, round the corner. And there was a city on the other side of that mountain, I know that. 
I saw roadblocks. I saw people being stopped. I saw army soldiers digging up a bunker that they threw dead bodies into. But that was in New Zealand, and I'm, <clears throat> I always thought the, I'm not sure of the context. I think the Lord showed me that it is in New Zealand. And then I saw the map with all the dots of cases of coronavirus in the North Island of New Zealand as well. So it's, it's, I mean, when you look at Revelations, it's the entire world. We're not, we're not, we're, no one's going to be sitting pretty just sort of looking at, oh, well, China's surrendered. Let's see what else. This is good work. Good work. Chinese New Year uh, festival was cancelled in China in Wuhan. And I believe that's referencing death stopped the Chinese New Year and it also stopped the Hong Kong protests and other things. And also the fireworks itself appear uh, to be what the coronavirus looks like under a microscope it's funny i saw that too and uh, i'll i'll leave a link uh to my ipeco 2 decode article in the comment section below i have some pictures there but if you just google search uh do a google search of i'll just leave it at that just a wee short one today uh bless you um what did the lord say to me today oh yeah I read a lovely post comment about how well, it was a prophetic word actually. I've linked it. I'm going to link it to this. Okay, so this really it's just beautiful and it's so true. And just about how Jesus, Jesus actually, <clears throat> it's a reciprocal relationship. He needs our love. We need his love. He needs our love. He wants our love. I, I won't. I can't really express it any more than what the Lord's shown me. And I had a session here. I was outside building my greenhouse. And and um, my Spotify just linked to my husband's secular music, <clears throat> which, you know, I love. You know, like, I don't love, but I love it when God uh, anoints one, a song. And uh, he just anointed this song. And I had the most wonderful worship time with him. And the song is... Thank you for being a friend. And I started worshipping and, and I was thanking the Lord for being a friend. And then I realized that the Lord was thanking me for being his friend. So I'm going to lick that song and, and I just pray that the Lord blesses you when you listen to it. And you can worship and you can grow in your relationship because you just... It's just true. It's it's a word from God. It's true. He wouldn't be doing this. He wouldn't have gone to all this trouble to get his angels back if he didn't need us with him. He needs us. We need him. Like the relationship that we see here through a veil, which always fails. There's nothing perfect here. But the relationship we can have with him is perfect. Because he, we are perfect. We are made perfect through Christ. Okay, so it's a blessing. And, and uh, <clears throat> isn't it? It's just so opposite. It's the upside down to this image. Christ is the upside down to that image.